Hi guys, welcome back to our study of Your Art, God's Heart, a 21-day devotional for creatives. We're at day two, and today we're talking about connecting with your true friends. Now, as an artist and a musician, I'm used to spending a lot of time by myself. That might be at a piano or at a keyboard, as in a computer keyboard or laptop, and that's my time to focus where I shut the phone off, where I don't get on Twitter or Facebook, where I really have to be focused on myself and what I'm doing, and so there's not a lot of interaction there. However, there's also times when I need the support of others and I need to get around people. I need to get back around either my church and enjoy some time with the worship team or maybe reach out to somebody on Twitter or pick up the phone and talk to someone about what's going on in their artistic world. So there has to be a balance there. As a matter of fact, that's kind of why God and Gigs even exist. It's because we creatives need a place where we can connect and really get um, some boost and some inspiration from each other. So I'm encouraging you today to make sure you're connecting in two ways. One is with a local ministry or a church. And I know that's a touchy subject for a lot of creatives. However, remember, I'm not telling you that you have to give all of your gifts and work full time in a ministry. But I'm telling you, if you are a believer, that the best place for you to receive that kind of spiritual um, building up, that spiritual edification is in a local church. So I would suggest that you make sure that you're looking for a place where you're comfortable, where you're hearing the word, where you're not feeling like you have to stay back and keep yourself protected because in that sense, it's really not helping you artistically or spiritually. So I'd encourage you to do that. And then number two, make sure you have artist friends who understand you, who can relate with you, who can both inspire you spiritually, emotionally, and creatively so that you always know that there's a place you can go to. Now that's hard to find as well. Sometimes you might feel like you're competing with everybody around you, but try not to think of competing as much as finding people who are on the same playing field as you and who you can connect with and you guys and can inspire each other. So that's my little tidbit for you for day two. Make sure you're connecting with your true friends, those people who really get you, who know you inside and out, and make sure if you don't have those kind of relationships yet, look out, see who you can connect with, be willing to be open and authentic. And I guarantee you, if you pray about it and really think about it, those people are in your circle because God does want you to have trust and encouragement from people as well as from him. Thanks so much for joining us for day two. I can't wait to see what we have for day three. So I hope you'll check us out on the next devotional study. 